So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open, we can drag some footage onto the timeline. It's really important that you have an object in the foreground that is moving because we're going to use this to animate the text on. So as you can see in my example, there is this black lamppost. It's currently in the center of the frame but as the shot progresses, this pulls over to the left as we pan right. So once you've got the perfect video clip into Adobe Premiere Pro, we can go ahead and create some text. So we'll go to File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window and we'll go and generate some text. So we'll press the T icon on the left of the Legacy Title window, select the window and we can just type out anything that we want here. So I'm doing text reveal. We'll change the color of this to black. I'm going to increase the size, I'll change the fonts, I'll increase the weight. We'll center this up and then I'm just going to add a little bit of drop shadow. Now once you're happy with this, you can exit that window and drop the title on top of your video. So the title should be on video layer 2. Now we'll move the cursor throughout the video to find a point where the object would be covering the text on the video. And as soon as you've found this, you want to go up into opacity, select the pen tool, and we're just gonna draw a mask. So as you can see, I'm just drawing this slightly skewed rectangle on the right of the lamppost, making sure this is a similar height to the text. Now inside of mask one, I'm gonna press the inverted box just so we can see what we're doing. And then I'm gonna create a brand new keyframe on mask path. So we'll press the stopwatch icon, and then we'll progress in time, maybe five keyframes, select mask one again, and we're going to update the position of that mask, making sure the left hand side of this mask is following that black lamppost. Now we'll keep repeating this process over and over again until we can't see the text anymore. Now, once the text has completely disappeared and you've animated the mask to follow the object in the foreground, we can go into mask one and we can deselect the inverted box. So we'll just check that and all of a sudden our text comes back. And when we pull this back, we've got this really awesome text reveal effect happening. When we play this back, that looks really awesome, really clean. And that is how you do the text reveal effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.